I want to do a comparison of John North and Travis Cooper and their, their snatch pull. Um, and what you're going to see is uh, some things different, but a lot of things the same. These are two pretty good snatchers. Um, Travis has done 152 and 148 in competition as an 85 kilo lifter. John, as a 94 kilo lifter, has done 160 in competition and 166 in training. Um, it's really interesting to look at the things they both do the same and then as opposed to the things they both do differently. And right from the start position here, you can see that Travis's shoulders are just barely behind the bar. John's shoulders are more behind the bar. John's hips a little, are a little lower. His back angle is a little more upright than Travis. But the things they're doing the same are, um, you know, knees out in front of the bar, arms hanging down to the side. Um, by the side of the knees and in general it's not too different of a, of a position if you just look at it um, pretty pretty similar and a pretty good representation of a good start position as we move them both forward and this is a position by the way right before the bar leaves the ground they don't change position from here to go ahead and lift so you can see boom the bars just moved that first frame of bars actually moved for both of them um, as they go up again you can see their backs are getting more horizontal, both of them, and the bar comes off the floor and is now going backwards for both of them. Their backs are both getting more horizontal. John started a little more vertical, is now a little more horizontal. So his back angle changes more, Travis's changes less. John has the bar moving back towards him more, but the bar is slanted backward a little for Travis. John's pulling a little faster, so he's right at the hip now, and Travis is just right below it. But you can see that both of them, their knees have moved forward. Shoulders are now either straight over the bar or slightly behind again after being in front of the bar through the middle of the pole. Now they both extend their knees, go straight up, and back down under the bar. And both catch in a similar position. John's hips are a little deeper, just like they were at the start. Travis is in a very similar position to the start, but you see John move the bar more horizontally. The bar came back to him more. It also moved forward a little more going to the second pull. Um, the bar is further behind John's head. Travis has a more vertical pull. Uh, the bar moves back, but not as much. By the same token, he doesn't kick the bar ahead quite as much um, during the second pull. Um, both of them have led. John's jumped back a little bit where Travis really hasn't. Um, but the bar is over their feet, heads in front of the bar, hips are low, chest is facing straight forward, uh, eyes and face are facing straight forward. Pretty good finish position. And uh, again, you see, you just see the, the, the pull on both of them. It's the same. It's just a little more horizontal movement on John's, a little more rearward movement during uh, the pull to the knees and the, the scoop, the repositioning and a little more kicking forward on the second pull. Travis is more straight. Same basic movement pattern, just less of it. Here you see another analysis of the back angle during the same two snatches. And you'll notice that again, similar, but slightly different. Uh, again, John's shoulders slightly behind the bar more, hips a little lower, so his back angle is a little more vertical. Um, Travis's shoulders are closer to being straight over the bar, hips pretty much even with the knees, um, back angle a little more horizontal. As they start forward, we see that they both move their back angle to more horizontal. And I'm going to have to speed Travis up just a little because he's not pulling quite as fast as John. And there you see that the back angle for both of them is... is changed quite a bit. The change is a little bigger for John than it is for Travis, but the bar there is kind of a mid uh, mid shin bar position. Both of their shoulders have gone forward relative to the bar. Fast forward again here, go through another couple frames. You see that from the last frame, from the last one we looked at to this one, the back angle stayed fairly constant. John's has maybe uh, gotten a little more horizontal, but not much. Travis's has stayed almost completely constant, um, but they're, they're very similar in that respect. The back angle changes as they come off the floor and then stays constant through the middle of the lift. 
They're both below their knee. They're both above, right below the knees now. And both in a similar position. John's The bar has come back a little more on him, and his shoulders have moved ahead of the bar more. Travis has moved in the same direction, but not quite as extreme. We go a couple more frames. And once again, you see that they have moved the back up, but the angle hasn't changed much. The bar has come up to around the knee. Um, they're still both pulling with the same back angle that they were uh, mid shin. But what ha and what happens next is again extremely similar. Travis is going to move his hips forward a little earlier, a little sooner than John, and a little more. Um, they're both on their heels still, and they're going to keep pulling. They're going to start. This is the bar about the knee, and they're going to start pulling their shoulders back, and they're going to keep doing that throughout the rest of the lift. They're both going to get their shoulders behind the bar about the same time. So we'll go forward, back angle's changing, shoulders are starting to pull back. Again, both of them, back angle's changing, shoulders are, are going back. And you see now the bar at uh, mid-thigh. Travis has already come back. He's already gotten his shoulders just, a, they're almost even with the bar, just a little bit ahead. John, whose shoulders are more ahead of the bar, when the bar was below the knee, has now his, his shoulders are still ahead, but they're both pulling those shoulders back hard. Shoulders continue to come back. As you can see, Travis gets them back a little sooner. Um, but here's the, where they're going to start the second pull. Um, the bar's in the hip at this point. They're both about to extend their legs and hit the second pull. Both of them have their shoulders behind the bar. Here they go, straight up. Extend the knee, move straight up. And now this is at the top of the second pull. Um, and they're both already pulling down under. You see the shrug happen on both of them about right there. They're pulling under the bar. Bar went out on both of them and come back into the bottom position. Again, John's hips are lower. He's got the bar a little further behind his head. Uh, more of a back angle. Travis's back is more upright at this point. Bar's, bar's behind his head, but not as far behind his head. Basically the same squat position. Um, both of those guys, two of the better snatches, snatchers in USA weightlifting, Definitely the same idea, very similar in technique. All the different movements that Travis makes, John also makes. He's maybe just makes them to a greater extent, but basically the same snatch technique out of both of them.